your meetings. I'd like to first thank you very much, Lukas and Jorna. Um, it, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to be here. And I hope not to take too long because I understand that you know, it's been a very intense um, evening and the, although like, this uh, meeting is gonna, or it's scheduled to run until 10 o'clock, I think that you know, we will, might try to make the official part shorter and maybe later on move to uh, a, a less formal environment and continue uh, what this uh, meeting should be about. This is the real uh, intense networking. Okay, so um, as I said, I would like to be brief and um, so I don't want to go into too many details. I basically just pose myself a question. What does it mean uh, to be uh, an independent gallery since um, I represent a gallery that is uh, heavily dependent on a, a, a municipal support, not financial, but, but in terms of space. And uh, I'll say more about it later on, but um, I think that when we really look at the, the selection of um, who was who's presenting here already and the selection that I made uh, among Czech galleries, I think that um, there are all the different types of, of independence. Um, so, like, besides of these, these obviously um, state or regional uh, or municipal galleries, um, just after 1989, there, there we can also see these new institutions, uh, which are either connected with uh, some um, with embassies or with culture centers, but also with uh, foreign. Um, not entrepreneurs, but first um, supporters of culture. Um, I think we should mention at least uh, Soros, uh, because uh, like, he was uh, uh, behind the, the startup of, of this center that, that later on turned into a center of contemporary arts, which is actually still uh, running. And um, even though in a, in a much more, let's say, uh, modest way, and, for instance, this uh, Center for Contemporary Art, former Soros, Soros Center um, for Contemporary Art, then uh, has various offsprings. For instance, one of them, one of them is uh, so-called Yelling Gallery, which uh, became by now an established part of um, the independent art scene. Uh, but it originally started as, as some um, project that was run by, by this institution. Also, Artful Gallery is closely associated with uh, the uh, activities of uh, the Contemporary Arts Center. Um, I should mention also schools and, and academies, and, and um, more recently, private investors like banks and, and various investment groups. But let's let's talk about the the, uh, the most um, I would say hot candidates for for the independent gallery status. That is, uh, galleries that are artist-run, that are, uh, or more or less artist-run, that are obviously non-profit, uh, that um, are often part of the artist's uh, creative portfolio. They can be perceived, or the activities of these galleries can be actually perceived as uh, something that, that is a part of the art practice of people who are running it, or running them. And um, also in the Czech context, I would like to mention the site-specific galleries. There's a plethora of those uh, that uh, are in most bizarre places. Like it could be a, a puddle, it can be a, um, a, an abandoned grave site, um, or um, uh, or a, a, what have, a memorial hall, uh, like it's the case of the Goodbye Gallery that's going to present in a while. Um, or they can be various showcases. Uh, there's a whole uh, that actually had this this show showcase gallery uh, tradition is is going back to the 1990s, and these these obviously have many. Uh, <laughs> they, these these galleries have many advantages. They help to co cut the costs. Um, they are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, and they are usually, you know, they're site-specific, um, and they are exposed to um, 
um, everyday public, so you do not need this, this like an extra uh, impulse to enter a gallery. You, you're just, you just pass by some some art on your way home, um, and I, I think like that 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 this this this. Um, Galleries that uh, a colleague of mine, Lenka Sikorova, is called calling action galleries. This is also her, her project where she uh, collected and it's also a website, um, actiongalleries.info, uh, where she collected um, these, these independent spaces and uh, listed, started with 15 of them. Now, um, many of them are by now defunct, but, but new ones are coming. And uh, this, this uh, uh, activity, this project was also, also presented in the form of a collective um, exhibition, which was uh, entitled Together at Last, and it took place in uh, Emil Pila Gallery, um, which uh, is also invited to present today. Um, and um, it was also a part of an irony, because obviously um, artists tend to compete with, with each other, and um, so, so the title "Together at Last" was somehow ironic in this sense. Um, at the same time, it was uh, an attempt to present these independent, uh, often small-scale uh, galleries, uh, fresh galleries, uh, in a, a more of an established venue. Uh, what I forgot to mention is the fact that there is obviously a strong regional. Um, impulse, or that it's very important to note that these, these uh, site-specific or small-scale independent galleries are often being um, run or, or they're open in, in uh, regions, so they present or sometimes prefer to present regional artists. And now I, I would only briefly like to comment on my selection or the selected uh, organizations because there's a great variety to, to the um, spaces and uh, types of institutions that were invited um, and uh, I was trying to cover uh, various regions obviously not, not all of them could, could um, be covered in, a, in a, this uh, selected few um, and I was also somehow trying to establish certain parallels with uh, the um, other international partners and galleries that, that were coming from, from Poland or Hungary to as if uh, find a match um, and to, to see whether there will be opportunities to maybe share a certain um, experience uh, on, on different levels. So I would like to uh, just run through all of these, uh, it's, it's seven of them. Um, Sam, um, 83 uh, is, is, I would say, is the most independent of, of the, the selection because it, it really um, is, is using only uh, own brands or it was using so far um, and it, it's, uh, it's set in a, in a private uh, house, private property space so um, there's really no external push and pull uh, to what they're doing and also it's, it's important that they're based on this post-punk um, philosophy, so, so this is also uh, this um, extra independence or stress uh, toward that independence. Um, and and uh, I would also like to mention that they're, they're operating from, from a periphery, from a small village, so this is also something that is not very typical. Um, and uh, the second example is Umakart Gallery from Brno, um, so they're, they're urban, but they're also this, this it's one of these uh, show uh, or shop windows galleries where you have um, an, an access to to this to the art exhibited for for um, 24 hours uh, a day, seven days a week. Um, it's it's a street gallery, or um, so could be, so, so it could be called. Um, then then I um, invited any gallery, which is more or less a project space, so it also uh, has its specific uh, specifics, it's, it's usually open for events and, and for um, actions, and uh, it's um, trying to target experimental art, um, and um, also non, well, uh, the activities are, are spanning um, more um, fields, so it's, it's also interested in pedagogy or, or um, theory and reflection on, on art. 
Um, I invited uh, Kukachka Festival, which is a festival, so it's not a gallery um, per se, but it's interested in sex specific art and performance art. Um, so I thought it, it also could be interesting to explore uh, galleries which are or institutions which are interested in one type of, of art. Um, um, and then uh, the, the Kukachka is from Ostrava, so it's uh, Yama. Um, and uh, hopefully, I, I, I saw, yeah, you see sort of guys there. So, so um, he, he's here also to represent this, this established um, local regional uh, gallery that, that uh, has been promoting uh, not only regional artists, but now that since uh, their, their um, tradition uh, goes back to the 1990s, um, they've already established also international collaborations. Um, and as for the site specificity, um, Goodbye Gallery, which I already mentioned, uh, is situated in this uh, memorial hall uh, adjacent to a graveyard. So that's also a very uh, unique uh, opportunity to get engaged with, with uh, some, some local environment. Um, and finally, um, um, Emil Fila Gallery is um, on the, if, if I could, um, create a scale among these selected galleries, starting from the most independent. <coughs> I think that uh, Emil Pila Gallery would be the most established, but also like, obviously, not. Uh, I mean, it's non-profit, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, adjacent to or uh, co closely cooperates with the uh, uh, university, um, and um, now has, as, a, as I say, it's well established also uh, supports international um, exchange and collaboration, and also cross-border cooperation uh, with, uh, for instance, partners in Germany, but not only. So I think like that there is the whole uh, variety of, of types and, and, and various types of emphasis, for instance. Well, I, and then um, last uh, but not least, I'd like to present uh, the gallery that, that I uh, curate for, which is called Aqua Gallery. Um, so, so I'll uh, directly uh, uh, start with uh, the presentation of the, of the space, uh, and I'll go back, I'll go back quite far. Hopefully, it's going to open. And again, uh, re-asking myself this question: What is independence in terms of uh, running a gallery or an art space? <coughs> 